Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. First, excuse the quality of the video. This is my first video and I'm so excited. So let's get started. Um, I use this type of shrimp because they're already deveined. I use the tails to create a shrimp stock or you can buy some that's already made but you'll need to season it really well. Um, I use this type of sausage for this recipe. Um, I usually use Koneka, but uh, use whatever you like. Um, so for the shrimp stock, um, I had water, shrimp tails, onions, bell peppers, garlic, celery, and then I used two seasonings, these seasonings here. I found them at Walmart and they are absolutely bomb. I'm sorry I didn't measure, but that's usually how I cook, you know, taste, season, you know, keep going back and forth until I get it right. Uh, the ingredients are listed in the description box below. Let your shrimp stock simmer for about an hour. Once it is all done, you will need to strain it to separate the stock from the other ingredients. So like your shrimp shells, you can throw them in the trash. You will not need them. When, while your stock is simmering, uh, the last 15 minutes, you can go ahead and get started on your grits. Pour your milk into a saucepan, add butter and salt. Uh, once the butter has melted, add your grits. Cook until the milk has evaporated. We don't want soupy grits, okay? Let you will let your grits cool for about 10 minutes, and then you will add your cheese, and they should be smooth and creamy, just like this. In a separate skillet, go ahead and cook your sausage. You see my sausage back there cooking? All right. So time to make the shrimp sauce. You're going to melt some butter. Once the butter is nice and hot, add your flour and whisk. Whisk it really good and constantly. Do not let your flour burn, okay? We don't want that. We don't want to be out here like Usher letting it burn, okay? All right, so add a cup of shrimp stock in. Add green onions, your cooked sausage, and let it simmer for about five minutes. And then add the raw shrimp and another two cups of the shrimp stock. So you're gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes. While that is simmering, you're going to go ahead and season the six shrimp that you set to the side for garnish. So to do this, you will uh, season your shrimp really well on both sides. And then melt some butter in a saucepan. Once that's nice and hot, add your shrimp. You're going to cook the shrimp until they're golden brown on both sides. They should look just like this once they're done. Okay, so everything has now been completed. It's time to plate it. Add your grits to the bowl and your shrimp and chicken sauce on top. Add your brown shrimp on top for garnish and then add a little green onion. Okay? So I hope y'all enjoy. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to tag Soul Food and Trap Music when you make this, okay? Bye, y'all.